The mold girl would like to talk to you about Poria incrassata, the fungi that puts black mold in crawl spaces to shame. Overview There's no doubt about the dangers of black mold to human health. However, when it comes to structural damage, Poria incrassata is unmatched, yet very few people know about this deadly fungus. Poria is so destructive because it attacks wooden structures of a home, weakening them to the point of totally destroying a home. While the fungus looks harmless, resembles mushrooms, and white pancakes, it can damage the foundation of your home to the point of making a home unhabitable. Poria incrassata literally eats homes destroying a lifetime's worth of investment in a short time. So, what is Poria incrassata exactly? Definition Poria incrassata Meriloporia incrassata Poria incrassata, or simply Poria, is a fungus that causes wood to rot extensively. The fungus feeds on cellulose in wood, reducing the structural strength significantly and discoloring wood in the process. During the initial attack, wood is resilient enough to serve its structural purpose. However, the wood becomes weak and completely useless over time. Poria has impressive water-conducting abilities. While the fungus feeds on cellulose from the wood it attaches itself to, it can source water from external sources, up to 10 meters away, via special structures known rhizomorphs that resemble roots. Poria is also dangerous for its ability to destroy any wood species. It is most common in crawl spaces or basements where there is ample wood and moisture. However, given the unique water conducting abilities, lack of moisture slash water won't stop the fungus from thriving in the basement. Where does Poria incrassata come from? Poria's occurrence isn't any different. The fungus occurs naturally to aid decomposition. However, the origins of Poria in the US aren't clear since the fungus has just been a problem for a few decades only. According to Wayne Wilcox, a forestry professor, the fungus originated from soil used for landscaping that was gotten from various forests globally where Poria is a naturally occurring fungus. His theory is derived from the premise that the initial houses in America found with Poria had all undergone major landscaping two years before Poria's onset probable causes slash ideal conditions for Poria to thrive. The fungus is popular in buildings located in coastal parts of North America. The southeastern side of the U.S. coast is the most severely affected area. However, Poria can be found anywhere. In regards to sources, there are several conditions that make Poria incrassata thrive. They include I. Temperatures between 24 and 30 degrees Celsius. Areas with temperatures ranging between 24 and 30 degrees Celsius offer the perfect temperature for Poria to thrive. 10. Humidity. The fungus also thrives in areas with high humidity levels. 5. Poor construction. While the above temperature and humidity conditions are ideal for Poria incrassata to thrive, poorly constructed homes invite the fungus. Homes lacking proper yard drainage can cause dirt buildup against the structure creating contact between soil and wooden parts of a home like siding. When this happens, poria can grow on such wood spreading to other parts of the home. Kay. Poor. Poor ventilation in crawl spaces and the presence of cracks around the foundation create perfect opportunities for poria to invade. V. Wooden clutter. If a home has uncleared wooden clutter from previous home improvement projects or repairs, Poria can easily grow on such clutter, especially when there is contact between wood and poria-contaminated soil. Dangers of Poria to Your Health While Poria isn't deadly for reasons related to human health, it introduces health risks by introducing other deadly molds to your home i.e., ketomium, aspergillus, alternaria, stashpatries, etc., that are detrimental to humans. Exposure to mold is known to cause many health issues ranging from skin rashes and watery eyes to sore throat and a running nose. Mold also compromises a person's immunity and causes many respiratory health problems, from wheezing to asthma. Mold also affects pets. For instance, pets in mold-infested homes are prone to many health problems like allergies, nasal discharge, breathing problems, and bleeding. Pets can also develop digestive health problems from ingesting moldy foods. In surf cases, mold can kill pets. Dangers of Poria to a home's structural integrity The destructive nature of Poria vs. Black mold is best explored by looking at the structural damage caused by both. While black mold won't destroy your home's wooden foundation, Poria is capable of causing severe rot of every single wooden structure in your home. Most importantly, the damage is extensive and fast. Poria can destroy an entire home in just a few years. Considering Poria can enter a newly built home via infected lumber used for construction, 
the fungus is a deadly threat. Generally, the wooden structures of a home, studs, joists, cells, subflooring, and flooring, as well as wooden contents of a home, can go from perfect, zero visible damage to extensive damage in a few years. How is poria detected? In terms of appearance, poria is dirty white to yellow in color. After invading crawl space for a while, the fungus turns brown or black in color and measures 0.250.5 inches in width. However, poria can reach 2 inches in width. The fungus has a dense outer covering and porous interior and hyphae that transport water. Poria is usually detected when it's too late i.e. when visible floor cracks appear. The problem can also be detected via visible growth on wood in the crawl space or basement. An inspection targeting yellow dust indoors may also be a sign of poria infestation. Poria rhizomorphs are common inside hollow blocks, loose mortar, and inside brick walls. If absent, mycelia fans assume the water conducting function. Poria can also be detected on rotten wood in cupboards and flooring. The fungus is flat and succulent, with thickness ranging up to 12 inches. A home's dust samples can also be tested for poria spores. A positive finding is an indication of a serious rot problem. Stages of poria's destructiveness to a home's foundation. Stage 1. When poria invades wooden structures in a home, whitish yellow papery mycelian fans start growing over such structures. The fungus is common between subfloors, joists, and other protected areas. If the area has readily available water, poria's roots will tap into that water. If water slash moisture is absent, poria can grow roots that spread up to water sources 10 meters away. The roots, rhizomorphs, can branch into the soil while others extend to a constant water supply. These rhizomorphs are visible on framing, foundations, and under flooring. Stage 2. After feeding on the cellulose in wood for a while, the fungus starts to decay, dry, and shrink severely. At this point, wide cracks in infested areas like flooring boards will begin to appear. These cracks are usually the first evidence of poria if rhizomorphs aren't visible because there exists water slash moisture in the site, crawl space, or basement. If wood damage is detected early, wood rot repair can save the affected structure. Stage 3. When poria turns dark in color, brown to black, it's already too late. The fungus has already done its job. Wood structures have irreversible damage at this point. The fast-growing rhizomorphs and mycelial spread very fast to other wood surfaces. Poria incrassata is deadly at destroying foundations since it feeds on wood, and a 1% drop in weight of wood is proven to cause a 50% drop in strength. Getting rid of poria incrassata. Inspection. The first crucial step to getting rid of poria is inspection. This can be done by a crawl space mold removal expert to ascertain the presence and extent of the problem. Cutting water supply. Since poria needs water to survive, identifying the source of water and cutting it is a proven way to kill the fungus. A leaking pipe, moist soil, or water source several meters away from your home could be responsible for the problem. If moist soil in the crawl space is the culprit, crawl space encapsulation services can solve the problem. Most importantly, there should be no contact between wood and the ground, soil. Removing roots, eliminating the water supply will kill poria. However, to avoid root growth, it is important to remove the roots from all affected wooden structures. Poria, roots, and other growth can be removed using a metal brush. It also helps to deconstruct wall surfaces and inspect underlying wood just to make sure it is dry. Dry out moist areas and repair damage, moist areas must be dried out. Damage should also be fixed to restore structural integrity. Important, dealing with poria in crassata infestation is a challenging task that should be left to qualified and experienced experts only. Preventing poria in crassata. Considering the dangers posed by poria fungus to your home structure, prevention measures can't be overemphasized. It helps to ensure you use dry uninfected wood when constructing or remodeling your home. Controlling moisture levels in your home through processes like crawl space encapsulation can help eliminate a common condition, moisture, for poria to thrive. It also helps to inspect crawl spaces and basements regularly for water leakage. Lastly, avoid stacking wood together and placing wood in direct contact with the soil.